let's take a look at the products demo app. This is what we'll be building. I purposely went into the username and added a triple Z at the end to simulate someone entering their own credentials. And let's see what happens as the demo starts up and the app starts up and it says, ah, we have invalid credentials here. So let's go ahead and remove the triple Z so that we have the actual credentials of the user. And let's go ahead and rerun the app and see what happens. It should be able to log in, validate, and then show us the cards, the records, the products for this particular user. And as you can see, you have different cards and you can see all the different items and pictures in there. But what happens if in the middle of this, we also have no internet connection, right? Let's just go ahead and go to airplane mode. And let's go back into the app. And as you can see, the app now knows, ah, we lost the internet connection, right? It's not available. So let's go ahead and uh, re-enable it. And this will also work, of course, if you logged in correctly and went back and started the app. If there was no internet connection, you would have received uh, the same message. Now, also this uh, app has paging. So as you scroll, when it gets to the bottom, you see we have 10 products right now. As we get past the bottom, it starts retrieving new items. So it's paging 10 products at a time. You can also click on this refresh button and retrieve the next 50 items. We could also switch uh, little card views. We have the card view. Let's look at a list view. As you can see, it's also there. Or we could do a third type of list view too. As you can see, the items are being loaded and we can have our images here. So we can go back and see the different layouts that we have and so on. So this is what the app that we're going to be building. And in the next section here, we're going to actually start from scratch and building this app from the bottom up, creating a brand new project and writing all the code for it.